Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show y'all a really super cute Mother's Day tumbler I'm going to be working on. I found the file. Um, there's this really awesome Facebook group I want to tell you guys about. I'll make sure to link it down below so you can go to the right one. It's called like free Cricut SVGs or something like that. Um, like I said, I'll link the, the right one down below, but there's several on Facebook. Um, but people go on there and they just photo dump all of these gorgeous like water slide decals and you can save them and print them out and use them as your own i mean it's amazing so that's where i found this file it's going to be really pretty i'm going to be using glitter from the glitter grind marabou easy marbles water slide decals it's going to be a lot but it's going to be really really beautiful so let's get started i'm going to start by covering the entire tumbler in this glitter this is reflection from the glitter grind i'm pretty sure i have enough that i can cover this tumbler um i love using this glitter whenever i do marabou easy marbles um i like to use like a glitter base and um do one coat of epoxy and then go in for the easy marbles really super pretty so what i'm using right now to put this on um, my mail has not ran yet with my mod podge so this is tacky glue mixed with water i just diluted it a little bit so i could spread it because it is like extremely thick but i had a ton of it so i also totally forgot to mention that this is a 20 ounce for maker flow crafts i'll put their link down in my description and i base painted it white from rust-oleum so this glitter is gorgeous it's like a medium chunky mix um like i said it's called reflection from the glitter grind and i am just covering the entire tumbler with it tap off some excess and put this back into my shaker and if you did not see my last video, I'll put the um, link for this little vacuum down in there again because it is amazing because I make messes all the time and this helps. <laughs> So since this is a medium chunky glitter, it's not like an ultra fine or anything, I'm going to take some parchment paper and press down all around the tumbler to push that glitter flat so it won't take two or three coats of epoxy to make it feel smooth and I won't have to do like a ton of unnecessary sanding. So this is a really nice little trick. To help it lay flat so once this glue dries which I'll give it about five or ten minutes I'm gonna take it outside and seal it this is what I use to seal all of my glitter tumblers and my water slide decals this is rust-oleum two times ultra cover gloss clear I really like the gloss over the matte or the satin or whatever you can use any of them I just feel like the gloss is a lot thicker and it takes a lot less so um, about five minutes I will take this outside seal it let that dry for about 10 minutes and then you can add your epoxy okay so here we are the next day it has one coat of epoxy on here I am going to try something I've never tried before um, that's what I do here and I experiment and I let y'all know if it works you could try it and if it doesn't maybe you shouldn't um, but I have only used at max three marabou Uzi marbles um, I have seven colors here that I want to hopefully mix in the water and it not look too muddy so these are marabou easy marbles I got them from the glitter guy um, at the time they were having a sale and all of them together were like 50 or 60 bucks or something like that and there's like 20 some colors so these are all marabou, marabou easy marbles I am using light green turquoise lemon clear rose pink orange and lavender because here is the decal i printed it out mirrored um won't be able to put it on today it'll have to wait for another coat of epoxy to go on but i'm trying to use most of the colors in here and i think i might have got them all actually so 
I am going to try to dump all of these in my water and see how it goes. So with Marabou Easy Marbles, you're going to need a bucket of water. Um, mine is straight from the hose, so it's pretty cold. Um, an epoxied tumbler, a popsicle stick, um, a pair of gloves if you don't have something to hold on to. Like if you're just putting your hand inside the cup, you're going to want gloves because this stuff will stain your skin. And then a paper towel for afterwards. So I will put the camera down here, ignore my messy floors, and here we go. Okay, so that turned out okay there is a nice bald spot right here which I did not intentionally do but I'll take it so the water slide will show up pretty good in one area so now I'm gonna take my paper towel and just very lightly dab all of those water bubbles away and I'm not rubbing I'm just dabbing so when this is all done I will set it aside and let it air dry for 15 minutes or so the bottom's cute too and then we'll move on to the next step okay so now the next step before we go to epoxy you want to get some mod podge and a brush and you want to put a pretty healthy coat of mod podge all over this tumbler and the reason why is because marabou easy marbles are oil based inks and since they are oil-based inks, if you do not put some sort of coating like Mod Podge over it, the epoxy will repel. And you'll get fish eyes and there'll be a lot of separation. So you want to go over this over and over and over from every angle and make sure that it's covered. So you'll have a nice, smooth, and even coat of epoxy all right y'all here we are the next day this turned out super cute that epoxy really brightened everything up so I'm going to use this more blank spot back here to put the decal on and I already have my decal cut out and prepped so here we go And there we go I love it I think it's super cute it's gonna make a really good Mother's Day gift for somebody and it was really fun and really easy too so that's a plus before I go I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day and today's quote is winning doesn't always mean being first winning means you're doing better than you've done before that was said by Bonnie Blair I'm gonna let this dry for about 10 minutes or so and then pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups. Their link will be down in my description. And then one or two more coats of epoxy and this will be completely finished. So that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!